you look at Moses' life, he thought he was ready at the age of 40 and he went ahead to deliver Israel, but that was not God's time. Because he was in a haste to fulfill God's will, he had to suffer for it, he had to pay for it for 40 more years. He had to be in the wilderness. And think about Jacob. Jacob was to inherit the blessing of his older brother. But he took it by craftiness. And you know what happened. He suffered for the next 20 years being under the tyranny of his father-in-law, Laban. Don't run ahead of God's timetable. You run ahead of God's timetable, you are the one who will suffer. You wait for God in his own time Without anybody's influence, he will give you what he has promised you. The best in everything. You want to have a best married life, young people? Don't run behind these characters that you see on your, in your social media. That is not God's best for you. You want God's best? There are examples here. Brother Zach has completed his 50th wedding anniversary. Brother Ian will be completing his 50th anniversary maybe in a year or two. A glorious families you have in front of you. You want your families like that or you want your families... You now after six months they come back crying, I made a mistake, brother please help me, I can't live with this fellow anymore. You want that kind of thing? Decide what you want to do. The Lord told him, Joshua told the Israelites in Joshua, almost the last chapter, he said, Choose ye this day whom you shall serve. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord, he said. Choose for yourself, young people today, whether you want to accept God's will or you want to go ahead with your own plans and purposes, which will collapse one day and everything will come to ashes. God is able to restore, no doubt, but it will be too late. Moses could not get back those 40 years, neither was Jacob, his 20 years. So try to fit in to God's plan and let him work in your heart, in your life, and may his will be our will.